All right, for those of you that saw my unboxing of this Todd Fisher Sr. Archangel, you'll know that I'm kind of at a loss for words. Now, I own this Todd Fisher Sr. Archangel, and I have owned it for a number of years probably at this point, and got it from a good friend of mine, Tristan, and yeah. I absolutely loved it. <clears throat> it's one of the most expensive knives that I had owned at the time that I bought it. And I carried it a lot and still carry it sometimes, but it's not my go-to harder use knife right now. This was not really hard to use, but this is a knife that I carried and did a lot of stuff with. And I just noticed before I started filming that there's actually some edge damage here. There's a, you know, a, a chip up here and a roll over here, you know, it needs to go in for some love, a little sharpening and whatnot. But you'll see there's scratches on here. It's kind of scratched up over here from my jeans. There was a little bit of wear on the clip from tr the previous owner, but all in all, I loved this knife. Fast forward to today where I've kind of evolved from the bigger overbuilt knives to the smaller, more pocket-friendly, uh, user-friendly type of size. And my buddy Anthony sent this one in for me to check out. And yes, I, I've said this before that I may have trouble sending a knife back to an owner. Now, he bought this from um, Arizona Custom Knives. Came straight to me. So the, the first time he has seen it was when I did the unboxing. Um, there's been some other videos. This is not a brand new knife. A few people have owned this knife already. So there's been some other um, YouTube shorts or Instagram reels and things like that out there uh, previously. So he's seen the action and all of that stuff. But... The first time really getting a good look at it was when I did my unboxing. Um, and yes, I did tell him that I would buy it from him right now and not ship it to him. Um, he, he respectfully declined, um, but told me that once he gets it, if he doesn't like it, I could buy it from him. So let's just zoom in and take a close-up look as I kind of ramble about it. Um, and then I do have some specs. I mean, I took all my normal specs, but we'll talk about a few of the specs here in a minute. Um, Anthony said that if he didn't like it, he would sell it to me. I would have the first right of refusal, if you will, um, which basically means I, I know once you get this in your hand, you're going, there's no way you could not love it. Carbon fiber scales. Dama steel bolsters, Dama steel blade, um, Timascus or Zerkatai pivot collars and clip, backspacer, all of that. Just amazing. So there's no way you cannot love this once you get it in your hand. So since Anthony told me I would have a chance if he didn't love it, well, I reached out to my friend Todd Sr. and sent him a link to my unboxing and told him basically what I just told you, that should Anthony not sell it to me shortly after getting it, not even shortly, I mean, sometime next year, 2023, engine turned on the inside, the Fisher name embossed, engraved into the backspacer that's upside down, but you get the idea, all hidden hardware. That's the amazing thing about the way the fissures work. If we zoom out a little bit, give you a better look. The only hardware you see out here is the pivot, which you can't really hide. Like, you can't hide the pivot. But you can hide everything else. And Todd does a fantastic job. And he raised two sons that also do fantastic jobs. And I will pull out... A couple of knives from one of his sons. Uh, the other son, TJ's knife is over in another room, so I can't grab that off the table here. Um, but I do have two from Frank here also. But anyway, 
I've told Todd that uh, I will probably be looking at a build come 2023. Because this size just works really well for me in where I am today. This one is full size or large, if you will. Um, so just to give you some size references here, let's pull the uh, Spyderco Delica out. And we'll talk about some sizes here real quick. So my full size Archangel is uh, nine inches overall. The medium size one, if you will, I'm just calling it the, the smaller one, is eight and an eighth overall. The blade length on mine is 3.97. The blade length on Anthony's is 3.64. Okay. The weight difference. Mine weighs in at 8.2 ounces. Anthony's is six ounces even, which is just a tick above a D-cell battery. D-cell battery is five ounces. So just a hair over that is what you're going to get if you're carrying the Archangel. Here's another size comparison just for reference. This is not a big knife. This is a standard-ish size knife. And I love it. It works well in the pocket. It works really well in the hand. It is a little bit of a small, like with the finger grooves and whatnot, Yes, my pinky kind of hangs out over here a little bit, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. This is not something you're going to use as a hard-use knife either, but I will tell you, I would carry this, as I often do carry my smaller Frank Fisher battle, which is basically the same size. These are very, very similar knives. Um, they just are shaped differently, yet there's DNA between the two. So we look at the backside here. You can tell that there's a familiarity with these, but yet there are differences, distinct differences. Things I like better about one than the other in a couple of ways. So... While I think this is a beautiful Archangel, and I love Todd's work, um, the one thing, if I want to be critical and negative about anything on that knife, is the flipper tab. And, and it's something I had with my bigger one, too. It's not, it, it's, it's not uncomfortable, but it's not comfortable, if that makes sense. There's no jimping, which I don't think you need because of the design of it. But the edges are just a little harsh. I almost wonder if you could contour the edges just a little bit, chamfer the edges slightly to make it a little bit more comfortable in the fidgeting aspect. If you're just opening it, using it, putting it back in your pocket, no problem. If you're going to fidget with it, it gets a little bit sore on your finger after a little bit. Whereas Frank Fisher's is different. It's just a little jimping on it. It's much more rounded and just works. And you can fidget with this, no problem. Okay? Again, not a knock. The pocket clip on Frank's is not quite as user-friendly as Todd's pocket clip. And it's hard to explain. I just... I like Todd's pocket clip slightly better than I like Frank's. So again, it's personal preference and we're nitpicking at this point. But you can definitely see the familiarity. So yes, I have started talks, I'm not going to say negotiations with, but I've started talking to Todd Sr. And I will send him a link to this video when it goes live so that that might help us in our talks. But what I am thinking, and you guys, I want your input. I'm kind of thinking maybe an Archangel in this sort of configuration. Sand my blade, which is much more my thing than the Damasteel. Todd makes his own uh, sand my now, which might be cool. Maybe something a little bit just titanium bolsters instead of the Damasteel bolsters. And maybe even carbon fiber to then match my bigger Archangel. I don't know, kind of a mix of things. And I would like your guys' opinions down below because um, 
I just uh, yeah, I I don't do really well at picking um, configurations on knives. This is not the most practical daily carry uh, shape. I love it, absolutely love it. And if we go to my bigger one, this was my first battle. This was my second one. Still to this day, my Grail knife. Now that does not mean that you can't want another knife if you've already owned a Grail. They're just different, right? I mean, just because you own, um, uh, I don't know, the newest you know TV out there doesn't mean you don't want another TV for the bedroom. Like, I, so yeah, but I will tell you, I carry this guy way more than this guy. So if I had a smaller Archangel of my own, I would carry that a lot more than this. That's all I'm saying. And I think come 2023, we can probably come up with a configuration that's going to work really well and add a smaller size Archangel to my collection because I think they're awesome. They really, truly are. This one has a tiny bit of lock stick. Um, I've been kind of trying to work it out, but it's still there every so often. But yeah, I carry my stuff, guys. I literally do carry this one a lot. This one traveled with me to Hawaii and was in my pocket for most of my trip in Hawaii this year in 2022. And it literally gets carried a lot. I think this is a more practical blade shape than this for daily carry tasks. So I would be excited about carrying this. And if Anthony were to sell this one to me, which he's not going to, I'm going to ship it back to him. We already know that. Um, yes, in this configuration, I would absolutely just carry it. I'm at the point in my life now that I just carry my knives. If it's a fancy knife, like any of these are, I just carry it. And if it gets scratched, it gets scratched. I just don't care. Um, it does not mean that I am, you know, rich. It just means that they were bought to carry. I carry that VC Edge interface a lot also. And is it going to break? Am I going to hard use it? No. But if it breaks, I send it back in. If a fancy knife like this gets scratched or worn or the blade chipped like this one, I will send it in, we'll get it fixed, and we'll move on. And if it costs me some money to fix it, it costs money to fix. That's just where I'm at. Like, I'm not going to buy stuff and just have it sit in the safe or sit on the shelf. That's just not my thing. I say that with a bunch of fixed blades sitting around me that are just collecting dust because I don't carry fixed blades. But that's a different thing. So, anyway, I've rambled enough now. Um, let me put a playlist up in the corner of my, well, I don't know. I have a Frank Fisher playlist and I don't really have a Todd Fisher playlist. I'll put a link up there for something. You guys go check it out. Uh, yeah. And thanks for watching. This is amazing knife. And Tony, wow. Just wow. That's all I got, man. Thanks guys.